<laughs> yeah. You think I was gonna miss this party? Well, you thought wrong. Scream 2 is the sequel to Scream and is once again directed by Wes Craven and once again written by Kevin Williamson. So the basic story of this movie is Sydney and tabloid reporter Gail Weathers have survived the events of the original film but their nightmare isn't over. Two college students are murdered as a sneak preview of Stab, which is a movie based on the events of the first film. It is clear that a copycat killer is on the loose. Sydney and Gail, as well as fellow survivors Deputy Dewey from the first movie, as well as Randy from the first movie, they have to find out who is behind this new murder spree before they all end up dead. Scream 2 is... Probably my second favorite, my third favorite of this series, my third favorite in this entire franchise. I I have fun with this movie, and this movie had a lot of controversy with the significant issues with the plot information leaking online. They have revealing the identity of the killers, so Kevin Williamson had to um, do that. And most of the script was rewritten, and this did have a rush production. But the difference, you want to know what's the difference between the rush production between this movie and um, Child's Play 3? This movie knew. What it was going, what it was doing, because it was being better than the first one. But in Child's Play 3's, Play 3's case, it sucked. Yes, I still hate Child's Play 3. My opinion has not changed. I hate, I hate that movie with a passion. But anyways, let's talk about. I want to talk about the music first. The music in this movie is really good. Marco Bertrami does a really great job with the music. I. I, this is some of the creepiest music you ever hear in a horror film, and I think this was better than the first film. And I just love how this movie is. It's just awesome. It's only two hours, so it's not that long. The budget was much more bigger for $24 million, and yeah, that was cool. So... A number of sequences in the screenplay will describe as Wes Craven will make it scary. <laughs> that was cool. And a little trivia, Robert Rodriguez did direct s scenes of Stab, which is the movie within the movie at the beginning of Scream 2, where um, Jada Pickett Smith and um, um, uh, I forgot, oh! I remember now. <laughs> um, Omar Epps. So yeah, they get killed at the beginning. It's very intense. Now, we also got other actors. Um, now the girl who CC talks to on the telephone, it was actually. Selma, that is Selma Blair. I did not know that. But anyways, the acting in this movie is great. All the acting of Campbell, 
Courtney Cox a cat. Well, was Courtney Cox a cat? Now she's Courtney Cox. David a cat. Um, Jamie Kennedy, Sarah Michelle Gellar. Yes, Buffy the Vampire Slayer is in this movie herself. But in this film, she plays just such a character. But in Buffy, she plays the title character. And the plot twists were secret throughout the production. And so they went into production without a complete script. Again, this movie did it better than Child's Play 3. That's right. I hate Child's Play 3. I'm not changing my mind. But, I will give away the what happens. Um, so, in this movie, at the end of this movie, we find out the killer's is actually Billy Loomis's mom from the first movie and um Mickey so wow <laughs> also Randy is also killed in the process which that kind of upset me because I like the Randy character and Jamie Kennedy is awesome. He is funny. He's your comic relief in these first two movies. Um, the movie does get does get a little bit slow. There is a little bit too much talking, but it's Scream Two, so what are you gonna do? So I won't give this movie stupidness for that. <laughs> And just like the first scream, <laughs> this one <laughs> avoids uh, the same experiences. He attempted to Gus Craven. He attempted to manipulate the MPAA by seeing them a version of the film that had been edited to focus and enhance the gore and violence. So that was that was cool. But this movie did get R rated for the more violent content. <laughs> And so, everything else in Scream 2 is awesome. This is one of the, this is one of my favorite sequences, my favorite sequels. And some people, they didn't like, they don't like the death of Randy. I didn't, but I accepted it. But I kind of wish they could have done more with him before they cut him off. But anyways, I will give Scream 2 my JD Rainbow Silver approval. Let me know in the comments below what you think of Scream 2. Do you like it? Do you hate it? And I'll see you guys for Scream 3. <laughs>